Before we get into this video, please like the video and prayers for Sean Bradley. Uh, Sean Bradley, everyone's thinking about you around the NBA. And just know that you can get through this. All right, guys, let's get into the video. What's going on, guys? We're back with a brand new video. And today we have some more breaking news. This is not good news, though. This is really sad news. And I feel so terrible. Sean Bradley, former Dallas Maverick, that's the team he's best known for. He also played for the Philadelphia 76ers and the New Jersey Nets, has finally made it public that he had a horrific bicycle accident where he became paralyzed as a result of it because he got hit by a car. Um, here's a picture of him. I don't know if this is exact the exact bike that the crash happened in, but here's a picture of him with his bike and his old number 44 jersey on um, for the Dallas Mavericks. This is just sad news. You never love, you never like to hear anything like this, but uh, this happened back on January 20th, and it just became released today that he is paralyzed and uh it doesn't say from neck down from anything like that it just says he is paralyzed um this is according to Woj it it's a hundred percent official uh no, nothing fake around it Woj has tweeted about it Shams has tweeted about it Steve Kerr has even tweeted about it uh Mark Cuban Dallas Mavericks everyone pretty much has like said their sent their prayers towards the Sean Bradley family. Um Sean Bradley turns 49 in 5 days, the 22nd, and he had a 12-year career, most of it with the Mavericks. Um he's 7 foot 6 tall, so he's one of the tallest NBA players ever. Uh he's the same height as like Taco Fall and he was a pretty solid player, putting up around 10 points a game for most of his career and grabbing around between six and eight rebounds. Um, he is also part of the Mormon faith, and he is from Brigham Young University, BYU. Uh, and that is where he played his college ball. And then he was picked second overall when he was drafted into the NBA, and he had a pretty solid career. He made the all rookie team and he was a blocks leader in 93 94 season i believe it's the season but he was a blocks champion for a year uh so he didn't probably live up to the number two pick that they wanted him to but he's still a really solid player from up like 10 points throughout his career uh, i think his career average was eight points a game but he had multiple seasons with like 10 points and uh multiple seasons with like eight rebound seasons eight rebounds per game seasons. Uh, and what we found out about the car accident is he was just riding his bike on the side of the road and he got, hit, or maybe not on the side of the road. He was riding his bike and he got hit by a car and it damaged his spinal cord um, pretty severely. And now he's paralyzed. That is really all I know at the time of making this video. Hopefully we found out more soon. But he has said, so apparently he can talk. Either he can talk or he said it some other way with, like, um, I don't know. They put up a – he must be able to talk. I can't think of another way because he can't write or anything. Um, but he said he wants to focus on bicycle awareness and stuff like that because I don't know if he was wearing a helmet, but 7'6 on a bicycle sounds like a – it doesn't sound like the best idea in the world, uh, first of all, and just seven six, like that's so tall, and for a body that big, usually you will have health problems. But this is just too bad because it wasn't even his body's fault. It like he couldn't have controlled it. Um, well, I guess you can't control your body size, 
but he probably like most big guys that are like in the seven foot range usually have some health problems um, with like their feet, ankles, knees, legs, something like that because of how heavy and how much weight and how much height is on their body and on their legs, knees, hips, ankles, feet all the time. Uh, but he probably won't have that problem, I'm guessing, because he's now paralyzed. So he will be immobile and it's going to probably be one big wheelchair for a seven, seven foot or seven foot six. Uh, another player that's seven foot six is Yao Ming. So that's another comparison you can think of five inches taller than Shaquille O'Neal, if you want to think of it like that too. Um, and he, yeah, he's a, really known a lot for getting dunked on by T-Mac right here. Uh, so Sorry, Sean Bradley, I know we're like trying to be nice to you today, but I just had to put this picture in. So then if someone didn't know who you were exactly, the name sound familiar, maybe this is why you know him. Um, and yeah, mostly known for me on the Dallas Mavericks, but he also played on the 76ers, like I said. That's where he was drafted to. And surprisingly enough, he wore number 76 there, which I did not know you were allowed to wear number 76 on the 76ers. Similar to how I thought you couldn't wear 49 on the 49ers. That would just make sense if you couldn't wear that number. Uh, but I guess he did. He wore number 76. I don't know if anyone's wore number 76 on the 76ers since then. 76ers fans, let me know. Uh, and then he played for a little bit for the New Jersey Nets. Uh, not for very long. Majority with Dallas. And probably his prime with Dallas, maybe? I don't know. Uh, yeah, probably his prime with Dallas. Um, he retired in 2004, 2005 season, after that season. Uh, so he wasn't on that championship team. He was quite a while before that, 10 years-ish. A little, no, not 10 years, 6 years before that championship team. Um, but he did play with Dirk, because Dirk was definitely still on the team. That was right around... Dirk's prime when he won his MVP. I don't know exactly what year Dirk won his MVP, but Sean Bradley might have been there. Um, and uh, I think Jason, either Jason Kidd or Steve Nash. I always forget the order. I think Steve Nash might have been on that team and might have played with Sean, Sean Bradley as well. But I'm not quite sure. Uh, he has some nickname that I forgot what it was, but it was something Mormon. Uh, the... Mormon Mormon or something. I don't remember. And that's probably not what it was. But that's it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you leave a like to pray for Sean Bradley. Because this is some really sad news. And I will see you guys later. Peace out.